Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's me again Chelsea and today I have got my November wrap up for you. So this is the first video of December. Can we take a minute? December. So this month I did pretty well I'd say. I have read a grand total of 12 books this month. That is amazing for me. Can we just so let's kick this off so the first book that i completed in november was hocus pocus and the sequel this i rated four stars it was on my october tbr and i literally just had to finish i think the last couple of hundred pages or something to get this done i did really enjoy it i said it when i was reading it in my vlogs and i say it a lot about books that i read that have films that i have watched i really struggle to read books that i know the films of really really well just a problem that i have got <laughs> this is because i know the movie so so well and the books are obviously a little bit different however with this book it was really nice to see daft little things that aren't in the movie so like there is a scene in here where danny and max are walking to school and they have like a little interaction that was really sweet seeing more about what goes on in max's head that was quite nice i did really enjoy this book the sequel that's in this book as well was quite nice it was quite cute i liked the lgbtq plus rep in it it was quite sweet it follows the same outlook as obviously hocus pocus does except the stakes are upped in the second book and i did really really appreciate that so i'm quite happy that i actually finally finished this one so the next book that i completed in the month of november was bridget and jones diary so this is a parody book kind of taking after bridget jones diary but it follows two old ladies who have given each other these little journals at the start of the year and it is just following them throughout the year and it is some of it is actually quite funny um i was recommended this by my other half's mum she thought it was hilarious and to be fair i found it quite funny as well um i don't i don't really know what else to say about it it's just like a funny little book um for the clear your shit readathon that i am doing this completed the prompt of recommended and or gifted because this was recommended to me so there's that three stars quite funny i laughed out loud at some points and read some of the extracts to my other half who also found them funny or looked at me funny <laughs> about them but yeah quite a good one to be fair a little feel good book that's what this is the next book that i completed was one of us is next by karen m mcmanus so this is the second one in the one of us is lying duology i don't know if they're coming out with any more books i don't think so i gave this four stars i really enjoyed it i did love the first one as well there's just again the reason these books don't get five stars is i'm not emotionally connected to these characters it doesn't necessarily make me really sad really angry really happy there's no like build up of emotion there i love this book i love what they did with it so in this one we're following um three characters whereas in the one of us is lying we're following four so we are following Maeve who is Bronwyn's sister from the first book we are following Knox who is Maeve's best friend and we are following Phoebe who is one of the girls that goes to school with them and obviously throughout the book they all all three of them get close and their lives converge because that is what these books do i really really liked the premise of this so that is that bayview high is obviously still struggling to get over the death of simon keller which is why the first book took place he framed four people for his death and the whole book follows them through the journey of discovering what actually happened to him in this one we have someone who wishes to out simon him as they have made a game of truth or dare and unfortunately one of the dares ends up going horribly tragically wrong and someone ends up dying and that's when this whole book kicks off more obviously it takes a while to get to that point because they have to do the setup and that sort of thing but I still really, really enjoyed it. And I love a book with multiple perspectives. It just gives you a better idea of the story and I absolutely love it. The next book I read, I read on my Kindle and that was The Physics Memoirs by Ryan Hyatt. I gave this book three stars. I did read it for a review as I did a kind of book stop tour. Is that what they're called? I think so. I'm ter a terrible review by me. Um, I did one of those on Twitter with Blackthorn Books. It's a really good book if you like super natural paranormal kind of a book so this book is technically the second in a series um called the terrified series but i can i don't know if i'm saying that right it is a really good series if you don't want to read it in order um so the first book came out 
in like 2005 or something and the second one came out a couple of years later and then he has just released a third one in the series which is technically the second one in 2020. It is the first book that, and the only book that I have read that includes um, Covid and actually talks about how that impacted this futuristic dystopian world. It is set within our world in general. What I liked about this was that the characters within the book were well developed. I love the fact that it's a short book as well, sounds daft, but the fact that it was a shorter book made it more appealing to me. So this book is set in 2026 and it is a realistic dystopian kind of a book. This is set in America and they're all at a complete loss um, of resources. The story is following two detectives as they search for this girl that has basically predicted an earthquake that happens a couple of months before these agents start looking for her. It was a really good book. Again, the characters are well developed. It is a book and a book series for people that really like the idea of a realistic dystopian novel. I like, I like, I liked it. It was good. There was nothing wrong with it, but I didn't love it. It's not my taste. There was nothing wrong with the book. It was just not to my taste. So if you like supernatural, paranormal, kind of dystopian, read it. The series is great but it's just, it was a three stars. <laughs> the next book that I finished and one that I have been meaning to read for the longest time is The Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. So again this filled one of the prompts for the Kaliga Shit Readathon, this filled my prompt for Found Family. So this is the second book in the Six of Crows duology. This follows the same group of ragtag people that we fell in love with in the first book. So Kaz, Mateus, Nina, Inej, I'm trying to remember everyone, Wylan and Jesper. And obviously they have completed the first book. The first book they set out on a heist that is crazy and that's to break into the ice court. And obviously that book transpired and that was really good and I really loved it. Then we come on to this book and I can't really give you any details about this because it spoils the end of the first book which is really really sad but I gave this five stars. This is the sort of book that I kept picking up and putting down and picking up and putting down and I finally just went do you know what I need to sit down and read and finish this book and I did and I'm so 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 glad that I finally did and I recommend the duology to anyone. It is the only duology series thing that I have finished by Lee Bardugo and I can't wait to actually backtrack and read everything else from her. I just love this series. The next book I finished was an audiobook and that was The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Clune. Five stars. <laughs> Do I need to say much about it? So the whole premise of The House in the Cerulean Sea is that we are following a gentleman called Linus Baker and he works for the Department of Magical Children and goes and looks at all the different orphanages that they have under their jurisdiction. And he gets sent to this island where there are six amazingly magical children and it's his job to say whether this orphanage needs to stay open or it needs to close. And the book is beautiful. I loved the book, I love the premise, I love the characters. Hands down my favourite characters are Chauncey and Lucy. I die for them. They're amazing. I love all of the children in this series and it says in the blurb who they are. So you've got Lucy who is the Antichrist, you've got Sal who is like a, a wee Pomeranian guy, you've got Chauncey, my pff, love Chauncey, who is an, an un unidentifiable green blob, you've got Fee who is a sprite, you've got Theodore who is a wyvern and you have got Talia who is a gnome and oh my god these children they're so amazing all the characters in this book hands down are amazing five stars love the story love the characters love the book however it did not make me cry which is what a lot of people have said that the last chapter or so made them cry and i can understand but i am just not a big squishy person emotionally wise <laughs> but i did love it and i can appreciate it and i recommend that book to everyone it's amazing absolutely amazing but yeah, anyways, we digress. The next book that I finished this month was The Amazing The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. I had to read this in November, obviously. It came out in November. I loved it. I have two copies of this book. I loved it. Um, five stars, hands down. This book was amazing. This book made me feel things. So many things. I love this book. So we are following Addie, who has made a deal with a demon all those years ago to escape her life 
that she was currently living to live forever but the catch is that no one will remember her she can't write anything down she can't paint she can't she basically can't leave a mark on the world and it is a stunning book oh. until one day 300 years later she meets a guy in a bookshop who does remember her and oh my goodness this book it takes like 100 pages to get to that point but the build-up is so good it's so good i love this book i read it so fast i'd recommend it to anyone i'm so glad i have two copies and that i like it <laughs> so i can justify having two copies but read it if you haven't read addy read it it is one of those books that either you love it or you hate it i think it's quite marmite but i love it so there's that the next book that i finished was the lives of saints by lee bardugo i had a bit of a lee bardugo month got me said got me done sometimes hey and this i gave four stars it is just a collection of stories about the different saints and how they became saints and who they're the saints of but i found it quite interesting to read about some of the saints obviously mentioned in the six of crows duology because inage worships them and i'm guessing they might be mentioned throughout the other books obviously this is alina alina i say alina i don't know if that's right who is featured in the shadow and bone trilogy it was quite good i did quite enjoy it it's a nice little addition to have to my collection and it's stunning <laughs> The next book that I finished and it still has tabs in is The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. I gave this book four stars. It is the first book in the series so I don't expect to have that much of an emotional connection to everyone yet but my goodness. There's a lot that I can't say about this book because it will give spoilers away but let's just say that I got to 100 pages left-ish. I think that's when it is. I can't remember and there is a point where something is revealed and then i had a whole theory for the rest of the book and i was right i was so happy to be right but anyways this book <laughs> me rambling on this is how passionate i get about books guys i'm sure you can agree and i'm sure you can understand because why why else are we part of the book online community because we are passionate about books um anyways this book is following three perspectives throughout it it is very magical it is high fantasy it's amazing oh my goodness the trigger warnings if you wish to read this please check them out there are many um yeah just just check oh, i just love this i love this book it was so good and i need to read the second one and me and my mate are going to buddy read the next two and then we are contemplating starting a book club for a range of different books that we may vote on let me know down below if it would be something that you'd be interested in um it would probably be a lot of like nk jemison we need to finish the rest of her books possibly brandon zanderson because i haven't read any of his books and then a lot of backlog and also new release so if you'd be interested in that let us know down below and if you want to obviously let me know how you feel about this series let me know down below the next book that i actually read because of a mini challenge and i have just realized i didn't actually mention what some of the other books were for my prompts for clear your shit so addy larue is pretty cover obviously and then lives of saints is the shortest book on my shelf and what did i just mention fifth season that is one a book with a map i will do a full wrap up of the rudathon probably at the end of december once i've obviously finished it and I might in just include that as a, in the December one or maybe I'll include that in a vlog. So the next book that I read for my mini boss challenge was Wonderland by Juno Dawson. I gave this four stars but it was a low four stars for me and there are reasons why. So throughout this whole book it is very trippy, it is obviously it's like Alice in Wonderland, Alice in Wonderland is trippy. So in this book we are following Alice and she is on the hunt for her friend Bunny who has gone missing and no one else seems to be worried about the fact that this girl has gone missing except for Alice. So we are following her through this mad world <laughs> but she lives in a life of luxury and stifling privilege because she goes to one of the like top schools in London. Her mum is a best-selling author so they are a new kind of rich when she goes to school with all these like old family, old money families. And in her hunt for Bunny, she finds an invitation to a party called Wonderland. And that's where she goes looking for Bunny. And trigger warnings for this book, check them before you read them. I say it, I say it when I know what they are. 
check. This was a really good book. I did like how it was written, but it's one of those books where I was like, okay, it'll make sense in the end. It'll make sense in the end. And it was all just too... <laughs> because it's set in the real world, it was too fantastical for me. I think that's what I couldn't get my head around. I do recommend it. I do think it's a good book. And it was... a. It was... There was stuff about it that just pushed it over that three star threshold for me like there's sexual positivity there's LB lgbtq plus rep in here and it's all done really really well there is a comment in here um which is kind of like a throwaway comment that when i was reading reviews for it after i read the comment people weren't obviously as you would be understandably happy about it it is a comment about diabetes and that comment just kind of went mm, to me but it is what it is. It is a really good book. I do recommend it. Check the trigger warnings, please. It is the right amount of trippy for an Alice in Wonderland story, as it should be, to be fair. There's that. The next book that I read, I read on audiobook, and that is Becoming by Michelle Obama. I read that for the longest book on my shelf. I do have a physical copy, but it's just not within reach right now, so I'll put a photo up on screen for you. Um, this book, I gave five stars what else would I give it? This book was amazing, it was inspiring, it was truly eye-opening to someone who, I'm English, I have lived in America for a brief stint but when I was young, so having an eye-opening account of how the politics and that sort of thing works, it was interesting, I loved it. Recommend Michelle Obama's book, love it, I am thinking about trying the Barack Obama book, as in his new one that he's just released. It is one that I think I would buy, and I think it is another one that I would also listen to an audiobook, because I think he narrates it, and I that would be amazing. And then the final book that I read this month was Fable, and this ticks off the prompt of a book set at sea slash blue cover, and it is blue, and it's set at sea, and it's great. I gave this book four stars. So, again, with this, it's one of those books that I did really enjoy. I don't have, any, like, a massive emotional connection to this. The ending, I spoiled myself a little bit because I do this really annoying thing where I flip to the back of the book to read the last sentence, and then I enjoy seeing how we get there problem anyways um <laughs> i gave this four stars uh in this book we are following fable after she has been left on a island by her father after her ship has been sunk and she is finally at the point where she's about to get off this island she has been earning and earning and earning and she is at a point where she's almost ready to get off this island and pay for passage to go and claim what's hers from her father. Now, this book is really good. I really enjoyed it. I, again, LGBTQ plus rep in here. Quite like. It's got shimmer edges. The fairy loot edition does. Love it. I really like this book. The thing that I liked a lot about this book was the fact that there is a romance but it's a very very slow burn romance and i like that why do we have why do so many books and no offense some of these books i love but my biggest pet peeve is first love like love at first sight why get to know them but that's just me anyways yes four stars really enjoyed this book i literally finished it last night which is mad um, and yeah, that is all of the books that I read this month. That is a hefty stack for me. I think this is hands down my best reading month of this year of my life of the world for me, which is pretty cool. So give this video a like if you liked it. It really supports me and my channel. Have you read any of these books? Would you recommend me any other books? Let me know down below. How was your reading month this month? Let me know down below. And if you want to see more of me with these massive book stacks and trying to achieve huge TBRs, which this month I actually did, please consider subscribing and ring that bell so you get notifications when I post because YouTube has messed with the algorithm again and that's not happening. So yeah, that's all from me and I will see you soon for another video. Bye.